Okay, I'm Robin Tomlin. I'm the executive editor at the Star News in Wilmington, North Carolina, and um, I uh, and I'm playing with my toys. Um, I have a Verizon MiFi, which is a wireless card that will support up to five devices um, at any time, and it's really easy. You just have to put in your little password, and and um, and you go. And then I have my um, my iPad, um, and uh, it's got many, 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 many apps on it. Um, and I was going to, since we're we're at the New York Times booth recruiting for the New York Times, let me find my New York Times Editor's Choice app, which I will pull up right here. And it will say, give us what are the, the biggest stories of the day. It's saying no internet connection. Well, it's giving me a no internet connection for some reason. It's working. Um, one of the interesting things, it's working. It actually is not pulling up ads for some strange reason. The other interesting one is the, the Wired um, magazine um, one. Let me see if I can pull this up. That's the, we can do it either way. That's the cover. Um, and you would read it just like you're reading a regular magazine. Um, for the most part, and, and at certain points, that's not one of them. Ah, there it is. If you want to continue reading on, it'll go up or down. And then there are pages where so here's one you can kind of go up or down. There are pages that are interactive, um, where in order to see certain types of content, here's a good one. Swipe. Oops. Swipe to see the history of Mars missions. No, it's not doing it. Ah, there we go. That's all well and good, but when are you guys going to be able to produce graphics <laughs> like that on and, uh, deadline? On deadline. Who knows? Who the knows? City councils uh, changes the uh, tax rate and what's going to do for your house. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, we can do some of that stuff on the web, but I'm not sure that we'll have it for the iPad um, in the next few months. But um, there are some things on here that I don't think are as hard. For instance, um, where they just have individual graphics where they, you know, you touch to go through the things. This is something one of my graphic artists could easily do, um, assuming we had the uh, the right um, the right software to be able to do it. It's a different experience reading a magazine like this. Um, and the other interesting thing about this is that many of the, as you can see, play video, which I won't do, but many of the um, ads actually have interactivity, which... Do you ever um, get like, feel like you, could, you finished? You get a magazine, you read everything, and you're finished with it. This doesn't look like it ever has an end to it. It's well, like a bottomless hole, no satisfaction. It does feel a little bit like that, but you can go through and um, and look at the the um, the index and make sure that you're getting um, you know, that you didn't miss anything. <laughs> um, so at least there's there's one way to do it, and I think if you turn it this way, it tells you where you are in the magazine. Oh. Um, that's that's an ad. You can see that there's some um, multiple parts to it. You can see. So you can kind of interact with the ad, which is sort of neat. Let me ask you, if you were to do an iPad app and you had a um, advertiser that wanted to put some links to your stories in the ad, within their ad, would you be cool with that? <laughs> links to their stories within... To your stories within their ads. Um, I, I don't care if the links are linking to our stories. That wouldn't bother me. Either ad, okay. I mean, you know, it depends on the context, I would say. But um, if, if it's they're linking to a story where we wrote something that was, you know, favorable to them and they felt like that had value, as long as it links to us and it's our words, I mean, heck, they do that now. They pull out those little fair use quotes and say, you know, according to the Star News, only they'll only pull out, you know, three words. I'd rather they give you the whole article and at least then you have... Um, you have the context for so that. How many people so. do you think are using the iPad in Wilmington? Oh, I don't know how many are using it in Wilmington. Well, there's three million iPads out there, so if we start doing the math by uh, by population, probably not a whole lot. Because um, uh, everywhere I go, people stop and say, "Oh, let me see that. Let me play with it." Um, <laughs> so you need um, to have a, a Star News uh, app yeah. to demo. 
Yeah, right now I just have our website, so, whoops, and it's not even opening. Um, yeah, right now I just have our website to, to be able to demo. Oh, it's doing the free public Wi-Fi, that's right, it's not even online. 